don't believe in Jesus at all. Well, Jesus doesn't believe in atheists. Well, yeah, Jesus does not believe in atheists. There is no atheist in hell. All believe no avail. Well, if, if you're in sin, God doesn't even hear your prayers. That's not if you, true. Psalm 6618. If you regard true. iniquity in your heart, the Lord will not hear, the Bible true. says. You're not offering a drink to God. There's no drinks in hell, sir. It's only lava. Don't drink lava for all eternity. Don't drink lava. Love the one who loves you. You love the one that hates you. First Corinthians chapter 6. No drunkard has any inheritance in the kingdom of God. But here's the good news. That such were some of you. I used to be a drunkard. I used to be the woman at the bar. And they're Jesus watching your this. kids. Why? Says, because, because your kids were taken away. No, my Go kids home. were not taken away. Man, my kids. You're a false accuser. Did you know that the name Satan means accuser? You are convicted in your sin, and the proper response to conviction is repentance, ma'am. God wants you to be saved, and you are not saved. You've ceased to do good. You've learned to do evil. You've learned how to roll a joint, man. You're a professional weed smoker. You know where to get all the good weed, man. Oh, I'm telling you, man. You're a, you're a professional sinner, aren't you, man? You're practicing evil. Time to unlearn your sin. Jesus didn't lead you to, to gamble, sir. I tell you in love, you need to go and sin no more. Jesus said go and sin, so not go and sin a little more, not, not go and sin some more, but actually go and sin no more. So you feel that homosexuals, so I'm speaking about me, okay. should repent. Yeah. Correct? Right. Otherwise we will perish. Right. God has seen it. Your liver is crying out to God. And God has heard the cry of your liver from your drunkenness. God says, go and be drunk no more. As obedient children, not conforming yourself to your former losses and your ignorance, but as he who calls you is holy, so you also be holy in all your conduct. For it is written, be holy, for I am holy. No, no, the Bible says, all have sinned. The Bible says, he that sins is of the devil. You're of your father the devil if you're still in sin. The Bible says that Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil in your life. Your works are not being destroyed. But you've been washed clean. You see, the gospel changes a sinner into a saint. And it's the only thing in this world that can change a person. Nothing else will work. If you're a Catholic, you are not saved. If you're a Catholic, you were never saved. He rebukes a man, will find more, it says, it says, we'll find more favor afterwards than he who flatters with his tongue. I'm sorry, you believe the lie of purgatory is not in your Bible. Exchanging God's grace for torment. You're going to be tormented in a lake that burns a fire and blood song. The Bible makes it very clear you're not going to a devil's hell in a sense the devil is in control of any of your torments. God is the executioner of the torment in hell. If, if, if somebody changes their gender, they need they better change it back. I would hate if a man changed their gender to become a woman and then stood before God in the wrong gender. Jesus Christ turning water into wine does not justify your drunkenness. Jesus did not turn water into liquor. Jesus did not turn water into booze. And the same Jesus that turned water into wine is going to cast drunkards into hell fire, the Bible says. This perversity in this event. This wickedness in this event. Now we're here to give, to give you the truth. To give you the righteous word of God. God is not throwing liquor into hell. He's throwing drunkards into hell. He, he's not throwing fornication into hell. He's throwing fornicators. People, you have a living soul. Is everybody going to heaven? Everybody. So then that means he doesn't love all, does it? Jesus loves all his subjects. Does it? So why would, why, if Jesus loves everybody, why are people going to hell? That's not very loving, is it? Answer it. No, I'm going to answer it. You can't answer it. You're a verbal hypocrite when you say, oh, it's a party in hell. You cannot party while you're on fire. And I know that some of you out here, some of you out here are just out here out of pure ignorance because no one has taught you in your churches about sin, about going and sinning no more, about rejecting ungodliness and vileness. Jesus said, the worm never dies. That's your conscience, your mind has grown up with you. Jesus delivered me from drunkenness. And that same God wants to deliver you. God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. 
and your ungodly pastors are not going to challenge your sin. Why? Because they're afraid to offend. They want you to fill the pew. And God says he's going to deliver his flock from the teeth of these men, their hirelings. You have motivational speakers disguised as preachers of God. Whoever is a preacher of God is a preacher of righteousness. Yeah, I preach righteousness, man. I love it. I, 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 because I know that God is with me. I know that God's oh, going to deliver me from I, the hand of my enemies. The Bible says, I, deliver I, me I, I, from my enemies. I, I, Do not I, I, deliver it to the will of my I, I, adversaries. I, 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 no, no, you're going to perish. What good is it? You? What kind of pastor? Synagogue of Satan. Yeah, you, you know, this is a problem. Here what kind of pastor smokes cigarettes and, and, and carouses? And those who kind of pleasure to carouse in the daytime. Right now, you're in the kingdom of darkness. God wants you to come. He wants to adopt you. He wants to bring you into the kingdom of his marvelous light. But what does it require? Your free will choice to submit. Your free will choice to renounce sin in your life. Jesus said you must deny yourself. Otherwise, you cannot follow him. If you don't deny yourself, you are not a candidate to be a disciple for Jesus. In how you don't like what we're doing. You don't think we're doing it the right way. You think you can be a sinner and be a Christian. We know these things. Jesus gave his life for you. You must also lay down your life for him. He is the good shepherd. You come to the shepherd. Says, rebuke them sharply. They may be sound in the faith. Those who are sinning, rebuke publicly. Life? No, sir. God sent me here for you. I'm not going home. Why would I go home when you can go and plummet off into the pit? You know, we need to die to self. You know, because it says we need to glory in the cross. What does that mean? To die to self so no longer we live, but Christ lives through us. Sir, don't fight against God. Jesus said whoever receives you, receives me. Whoever rejects you, rejects me. If you walk in the spirit, you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. And if you really love God, you're going to actually obey God. Those are the words of Jesus. The Bible says God hates all workers of iniquity. The Bible says that the wicked and the one who loves violence, God so hates. You haven't been in your Bible. Yes, I was deceived like you, sir. The Bible says that there are six things that God hates, seven that are abomination to him. The very first thing on there is a proud look. You are proud in your sin. You are separated from the love of God because you are dwelling in iniquity, dwelling in sin. The Bible says drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible says, give strong drink to those who are ready to perish. You are ready to perish. The Bible told you to be sober-minded. Some of you may even be lukewarm. You might, you might call yourself a Christian. Jesus said, unless you repent, you're going to perish. The end of the mouth comes the overflow of the heart. How are you and the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Mercy is today. The Bible says today is the day of salvation, not tomorrow, not next week, not on your deathbed, today. When are you going to die, sir? Sir, when are you going to die? Because when I called, you refused. When I stretched out my hand, you did not regard. Therefore, he says, call upon your idols to deliver you. God is offering you salvation, and he does it through the preaching. The Bible says faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Lord. But we are calling you to come out. God, Jesus Christ is calling you to come out. Listen, sir, I love you. I care for you. I don't want you to go to hell. You don't see it as love because you love your sin. But you need to hate your sin and love God. You don't love God. It's not that you don't know God loves you. You don't love God. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Jesus is not interested in lip service. It doesn't matter how much you profess him. The Bible says they profess to know him, but in works, they deny him. Which is the second death for God. Enough. Hey man, why don't you get some Enough. love, man? With this shit. Calmness. You know, he's why are you like this in my head? Oh, in my it's head. Terrible. Get the fuck out. God sees all that you have done. You haven't done in secret. Doesn't matter if you go in there and the lights are out. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good that has seen your sin. Bringing me out of a life of hopelessness. Bringing me out of a bar. Bringing me out of a life of shame. You're on the broad path. So many on there. Jesus said only few find life because only few are willing to lay down their sins. We love your soul more than you love your soul, sir. I cannot shake your hand in your sin. I'm not going to hug you in your sin. I'm going to tell you the truth that you might be saved. God does not want you to think that you're okay with him and your sin. God does not need another ungodly person to tell you that sin is a mistake or that you can help but to sin or that we're born sinners. The Bible says God made man upright. The
survival test. God made us upright, but we have sought out many adventures, and so therefore, we must repent. And we just have to... Yes, I'll preach the gospel.